Hello everyone, welcome to my first video and in this video I'll be starting a new tutorial series about the game Space Flight Simulator. So in this first video um, I'll show you how to build your first rocket and help you understand the game a bit more. So here we have our main screen and you just, you just click on build new rocket and there you have your workspace. It might seem small at first but it's actually not and you don't have to use it use all the space you're given to at all and it's not really a good thing I'll, I'll explain you uh, later in the video so here we have our site menu which will which includes the parts we are going to use to build our rocket at the bottom we have our undo and redo buttons and turn the rotate buttons which just rotates all the items as you can see see <laughs> so uh, when you click this button here you can see all the menus this is the basic menu currently which includes all the basic items you will need when building a rocket in the propulsion menu nothing is new you just got the same stuff and in the utility menu uh, this menu includes really cool stuff, but I suppose the developers will add more things in the future, so I'm really excited about that. Let's meet with our items, shall we? For the first item, we'll have the capsule, which is the one of the most basic parts of our rocket. Uh, it's usually at the top of the rocket. A parachute. The parachute will... Uh, there are actually two types of parachutes. One being in this section and one being in the utility section. They do the same thing, slow down the rocket when landing. But this is attached to the fuel tanks and this is attached to the capsule's top, like that. Really cool, right? Now we have fuel tanks, which is essential for every rocket. You can explore more types of fuel tanks in the propulsion section. We got our half fuel tank and the big one. Let's just put them back just drag them back to the menu we got our engines so this is actually the most confusing part of while building a rocket we got two types of engines and most people don't even know which one to use now I'll explain everything about the engines now you can learn more information about them no cancel <laughs> didn't, didn't mean to do that uh, by clicking the arrow icon see as you can see the thrust which is 480 kilonewtons which it's it's really powerful but it's a lot of fuel see it says high thrust but lower efficiency than this one this is a high efficiency but lower power uh, it's less fuel and is really useful when used in space when high thrust isn't the priority it says it's really true. You'll mostly use it this the big one in boosters when getting out of the atmosphere. So for the next items we have the separators. They are really useful when attaching the side boosters and the parts like the empty st stages. We got our landing line legs which are attached to the fuel tank mostly but you can attach it to your capsule too they're really useful when landing in rocky surfaces like in Mars well but we are not going to use this uh, in this video it's for next one it's for another one for the next item we got our iron dynamic nose cone it's really useful uh, to reduce friction uh, while getting out of the atmosphere uh, to increase efficiency as you can see in the utility section um, we got our nose cones of different types which you can use it's just upgrade that you <laughs> uh, now let's start start building our first rocket let's just put them outside for a second and get our basic items like our capsule our parachute let's put this at the top and now and start building 
So my build is gonna be a really basic basic one, but it's a really useful one. When getting to the orbit, there'll be two, three engines like this, but one will the two of them will be booster engines, uh, which are gonna be a bit separated from the main engine, because we we will need space for the side separator. That's why. So let's start with building the main part. I'm gonna use the long fuel tanks for this. Just oh, I'm adding three. Don't add too much. Uh, I'll add three, and I'll add one more. Yeah, I added these health parts. I'll I'll tell you in a second what. Now for these boosters, what you wanna do is just don't make them as tall as the main part. And yeah, just add, I'll add two of them. This is a really basic build. Uh, and add your side separators here. See, now it looks kind of like a rocket. Add your capsule at the top, your parachute, which is essential uh, to land. Now, as you can see, the top of the boosters are flat, which is not a good thing. So, add your nose cones here now we got cones so looks pretty good but we're gonna add one more thing we're gonna use this this separator too uh why because when in space it's good that we use the small engine because it's really efficient right uh, you can travel really far in space with these engines so i'm just gonna make a bit of space for this engine and watch this. I'll put the separator here and the engine right here. So now it's covered and ready to use when the separator is separated. <laughs> uh, the main part from the boosters. Actually from the main part from this part, the bottom part, not the boosters. The boosters will be separated earlier. Um, yeah, now our rocket is ready, we can test it out. So just click launch. Now, it took us to the launch pad. Now we can switch maps by pressing this button. This map is useful when calculating, doing measurements, and selecting targets. It's used when it's usually, yeah, uh, looking at trajectories and stuff, getting into the orbit. It's that map. We're not going to use this much. Now let's zoom out from our rocket so we can have a better view. So, you may ask, how do I make this fly? <laughs> yeah, really good question. So, the first thing you need to do is open up the engines by clicking on them. See, so, you now you'll see a sign that they're on. Now here are here is our throttle control. Just increase the throttle and then switch the throttle on and watch it fly. As you can see our rocket has started off and the engines are running perfectly. At the top right corner you can see our velocity. It's it's not the same as speed, but it's something like speed. Uh, here you can see we're getting faster and faster. Here you can see the height, which is 2 kilometers right now. Now, for your first launch, tilt your rocket as you go upper, upper, and upper to the space. You should be tilted at least 45 degrees when you're at 10 kilometers and 60 degrees when you're at 15. Now as you can see our fuel is slowly going down. I'll close this engine to save up some fuel for the main part and just keep tilting it. As you can see our trajectory is changing and we're getting out of the atmosphere soon. Now I'll open this engine again. And just decrease the throttle a bit. Just play with it. <laughs> it's up to your imagination, eh? Mostly. 
Now, since our boosters will be out of fill in just a second. Yeah, we are out of atmospheres. Yay. Now we can detach our boosters. Just by clicking these separators. That's it. Now, let's wait our for second stage. Wait this burn out. You can see and in a second now. Okay, now click this separator and watch it separate and go back to Earth. Bye. Now turn off your throttle control and turn on your small engine. Okay, now you can turn this back on. And as you can see, we're moving in space. Now, if you want to go back to Earth, I'm not going to show you this video. But, yeah, you can go back to Earth right now if you want. Okay. So, let's just go back to our build. After doing our first successful launch. Launch. Okay, now let's try making a really big one and see the effects, the bad effects of it. Let's just I'll, <laughs> I'll make a terrible rocket right now. Or I call this a terrible rocket. I don't know about you, but yeah, let's uh, add the cones. <laughs> they won't change anything <laughs> after this point, but whatever just to show you guys okay so we got a rocket now let's launch it and try turn on all the engines and <laughs> that's what I'm talking about can you see how slow that is no I can't Look how much fuel it wastes while trying to gain some speed. So that's why you shouldn't build this with big rockets. Now maybe we will get we'll be able to get out of the atmosphere, but I'm sure that we will not gain any efficiency at all. Look how much fuel we are using. Power we use. Yeah, I know. Um, this is not real life. Uh, there's infinite fuel, amount of fuel you can use. But still, I think the small rocket could be way better than this. Still, we're trying to get out. There you go, finally. So back to build. Um, uh, that was it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, I know it was it was a bit long, but don't don't miss the next video. Uh, I'll see you guys in a few days, I guess. And take care. Bye.